up YouTube, Mike from Mass Air, Mass Aquariums, and I got a decision to make here with this giant, giant tank. I have a feeling, after measurements, that the stand will not make it through any of my doors in my house. Um, most doors are right around 35, 36 inches, and this measures over 36 inches. So, with some frustration, I might actually have to take the stand apart and try to rebuild it, rebuild it. However, that makes me really, really nervous that it won't be as strong and with all that weight of a 135 gallon tank on it, I'm just afraid I'm gonna be at work one day and the thing's gonna just break or something. Um, I can always reinforce it, but it, it might not look as good. How do you think of my garage? All my kids' crap everywhere. Um, and I, I just don't know if it's worth taking the stand apart to get it into the basement and get this reef tank going. So, uh, one of my options is an option that I've been wanting to do ever since I was a kid and I used to do it all the time when I was little and I just never had a big enough tank. And with this tank being 135 gallons with a 52 gallon sump, so you're talking almost 200 gallons, I might stick it right in this corner. We never use that door anyway. And I'll move the shelving over and I'll stick it right in this corner and I'll do a native tank. I've been wanting to do a native tank my whole life, basically. Um, you'll know all my friends, some YouTubers, my business partner, Greg, I've always talked to him about doing a native tank. And I would basically do, uh, you know, lake bottom pea gravel with some giant, giant driftwood, uh, all native plants and some floaters, floating plants. I won't need a heater because I'll be doing native fish who are accustomed to temperature changes in the water. And basically when you come in my house, everybody comes into the garage, you'll see a giant bass. Maybe I'll do, I'll start off with a bunch of bluegills or sunfish and, and see how those go. And then eventually I will catch some bass and put, put two bass in here and grow them out and see how that works. Um, so it does have the sump and I'll probably just end up having to put maybe a wave maker in here. Um, I won't need a heater, which will save a lot of electricity and I really won't need a light because it'll get a lot of natural sunlight in the windows. Um, depending on the plants I use, I might have to use seasonal plants. Like in the summer, I can go collect them and plant them and, uh, most you know plants around here don't really survive they grow they're almost like a perennial they grow and die off and regrow back uh, but that'll pollute this tank uh, and then during the summer I can do lily pads you know I can do frog bit bunch of floating plants so those are my options and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do Greg's coming over tomorrow morning we're gonna try to get this baby in the basement and if that is a success I will be starting up a new reef tank and we'll get this series going. If it is not a success, I'm gonna need to figure out if I'm gonna take this stand apart or I'm gonna do a native freshwater tank. Um, I would like you guys' point of view on this. Those of you that would love to see this baby into a reef tank, let me know in the comments. Those of you guys who wanna see a freshwater native tank native to New England, uh, let me know about that too. Lots of cool fish I could put in this tank, put some catfish or, you know, start off with uh, some kivers, some sunfish, some bluegill. I can do bass. There's a lot of varieties. I can do perch. Um, I just got to look up some of the rules, see if I'm allowed to do that actually, but I'm pretty sure you can. I've seen a few tanks around here that are, are native. And that's about it. So we'll see tomorrow morning. I'll record it tomorrow morning and uh, we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is Mike from Mass. I'm out.